We're at MER Equipment here today. Uh, I'm talking to Bob Allen, president and owner, about uh, one of our marine generators. Bob, what are, what are we looking at today? So this is a Bollard 99 KW continuous duty machine going into a tugboat application for continuous duty. This particular one has a, uh, a front power takeoff with a 1,200 foot-pound electric clutch for auxiliary drives. It's got a Marathon Mariner generator in and a John Deere 4045 AFM engine driving in. So this particular one has a, a, a what we call our Type B panel, which is an auto start panel with uh, emergency shut off. And we'll give you all the engine parameters on the J1939, read any trouble codes, and also give you a full engine and generator output. So it'll tell you what your fuel consumption is, it'll tell you what your kilowatt output is, voltage and amperage, and <clears throat> Everything's uh, pre-wired, pre-configured, and pre-tested. This particular one has a, an alternator delete kit because a lot of our tugboat customers don't want alternators. They use a constable for charging batteries, which is a little more accurate. Um, Look at that down here, the red. I, it's set up with some safety devices. You know, it has all the standard automatic shutdowns for water temperature, oil pressure, over speed. But we add a, <coughs> a lube oil level uh, alarm and shutdown. So if the lube oil goes low or high, then this will either send an alarm or a shutdown. However, whichever way we program it, everybody wants something different. But the high oil level is important because if the engine were to say blow an injector tip and, and contaminate the the sump with the fuel, that high oil the oil level will rise and the engine will shut down before it goes into overspeed. Low oil level is nice because you can just walk by and you can see what the what the oil level is in the engine without having to pull a dipstick. And if it gets critically low, it'll shut the engine down or alarm. And then down down here we have we've installed a uh, a, a lube not a lube but a fuel oil return line pressure gauge because all John Deere engines because of the high pressure common rail system they're very susceptible to high return line pressure. If you get if the pressure gets too high um, consistently, it'll blow a seal in the high pressure pump and contaminate the engine oil with fuel. So uh, we monitor that gauge, especially during startup and commissioning, to make sure that it's within spec. What are you looking at over here? So that's a superplex section that's uh, uh, fit with a John Deere flange to go on the exhaust and a rotating flange to go to make. And the ANSI flange to mate to the outlet uh, going to the muffler. That particular one, as you can see, is quite flexible. I mean, it's like a slinky. And it's built that way with a multiplied 321 stainless steel. So it'll last five to 10 times the life expectancy of a single ply flex section. And what's this back here, hiding back here? So that's a, uh, that's a lube oil extender. So it's a, it's a Puridine bypass filter uh, assembly. And it will uh, extend the life of your lube oil so you don't have to change it except for most of our customers that are using that system on their tugboat, they're changing the oil at 3,000 hours. Mm -hmm. So instead of changing your oil at the recommended interval at 500, you just change the filter and add a little bit of makeup oil to make up for what was in the contaminated filter that you pulled out and uh, significantly increases the life of expectancy of the engine, as well as pays for itself and the cost of oil savings and, and oil uh, recycling and disposal. Anything else about this? Well, we spend a lot of money in engineering on the base frames for vibration purposes. We use these uh, isoflex mounts, which are extremely effective. They're about 95% effective in reducing the and absorbing the engine vibration so that it isn't transferred into the base frame. And the base frame is structurally built so it can handle those. Uh, so you can, you can mount anywhere in the engine without having to be <coughs> really specific about the engine bed that it sits on. Other than that, it's just, uh, it's just a typical baller. This particular one has a, um, it's built with a, in, instead of a pressure cap on the expansion tank, it's designed to 
go up to a makeup tank to service in several engines, and then we put a, a Murphy uh, coolant level shutdown or safety device on the makeup tank. Great. That's about it. Oh, the, did, did we, we talk, talk about we talked about the C drive? Did you want to talk about it some more? 